a lot is happening in a country that is often being referred to as the giant of Africa. Given the level of available natural and human resources in this most populous black country called Nigeria, it has gotten no reason to be poor. With me today in the studio at the Cetrus Foundation Hub, we have a passionate Nigerian, an outstanding banker, a tech specialist, and one who is interested in calling the youths of Nigeria home and abroad together to pray for the state of the nation. My name is Festus Ostagi Godaro. I have a bachelor's degree in engineering. I am a fellow chartered accountant. I am also a banker. I'm into the IT space, and I'm currently a senior manager in the organization that I work. And I have passion for the youths. I'm calling a gathering of all youths for a great prayer section for our nation, because I believe that our youths have a great future in our nation. That is why we need to steer them up to achieve success, to achieve greatness within this land. And I believe that that is the reason and the vision we have and we're pursuing. And we will know that we'll definitely achieve this purpose. Thank you. As an educated and well-engaged tech specialist in Nigeria, what would you consider a program like this for Nigerian youth at this time? The program is tagged Youth Pray for Nigeria 2022. And by the vision, it should be a yearly program. We are calling youth together to pray. Why? Because the state of the nation can be very depressing. The youth seems to be hopeless. It seems to see there's no future for them in this country. They are looking at the negative side of this country and a lot of things that are happening, we want to support the fact that they are likely not to succeed in our nation. But that is not correct. That is not absolutely true because there is no situation that cannot change. Every situation can change. And we believe that if they are able to pray and call upon the name of God and they are diligent in whatever they do, I'm sure they will succeed. We succeeded in this country. We went through this country and by the grace of God, we are where we are now. We are still making progress. So why won't they succeed? They can succeed. If they can trust in God, be hardworking and give their best to whatever they do, they will get to places. Thank you. Why are you so particular about the youth that they are the ones to pray for the nation at this time? Okay, we're calling the youth in particular for this prayer section because the youths are the most vulnerable in terms of what is happening in our nation. They seem not to have hope. There seems to be everything looks bleak and negative. But we know that they are the future and the strength of this nation. So if we can get them to believe in a better Nigeria, definitely Nigeria will make the progress that we so desire. Definitely there will be a lot of progress. There will be a lot of achievement from them. We've seen you touch it so much. And we believe that if they can trust in God, they will definitely get to where they are supposed to get to, even in our land, Nigeria. Thank you. Yeah. We've seen developed nations of the world. We have the Asian Tigers, Singapore, Taiwan. We even have Dubai. They are doing great, even without praying. Do you just think it's only prayer that Nigeria needs at a time like this? We're not just calling the youths to pray. Ideas rule the world. And for me, most of the inspiration I've received has come from the platform, the room of prayer. I know that as men pray, they receive inspiration, they receive ideas on what they need to do in order to achieve success. And that has worked for me, and I know it can work for any other person. So the reason why we're not just calling you to pray, we're also calling them to steer them up, that in you lies a great potential for a greater person in our nation. In you lies ideas, in you lies things that the Lord has put in there. You can get it out by prayer, and you also need to be diligent Combination of prayer and hard work will take you places, even in our nation. With all said and done, what impact does this program actually seek to achieve in the life of the youth? The purpose of this program is to restore hope for the youth. Now, the youth, the situation of our nation can be very depressing because of the negative thing that has been happening. Kidnapping, terrorism, crime rate is high, robbery and all kinds of problems. People hardly travel from one location to the other without being afraid. But now, with this program, we believe that youth will have encounters that will enable them to be able to draw power from the universe through the help of God in order to pursue 
and achieve that which God has ordained for them. Definitely that hopelessness, that depression, that uh, lack of trusting in Nigeria that there will be a better future for them will no longer be after this program and beyond. So who are actually the brain behind this program? Who are the conveners of this program? Okay, we're working together with a couple of people. We have the Powerhouse Group. I work in conjunction with some youth leaders and also work in conjunction with CAN, our PFN, and working in conjunction with some other bodies to make sure that this program become a great success. So when and how would the youth from various locations be conveyed to this particular program? The program is scheduled to hold on Saturday, October the 22nd, 2022, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. 2nd, 2022, at Bishobage Hall, Elasa Majamushin. For buses to take the youth to and from the venue of the location. Buses will be leaving Agor Kota Roundabout. There will be bus at Last Tech Campus. There will be bus from 7 and 8 bus stop. There will be bus at Chakande. There will be bus around Mushin. And there are contacts being available shared uh, via online platform for people to reach out to. So I remain in top of the ensuring that youth are conveyed to and from the venue of the program. Sounds great, yes. So what should the participants look forward to at this program? Thank you very much. Youth Pray for Nigeria 2022, YPFN 2022, is going to be a wonderful experience. For everyone that comes into this program, every youth coming to this program, wonderful excitement. Number one, there will be a lot of talks around, talk around how youth can become better people in life. There will be a prayer section that covers uh, all areas in the nation, the forthcoming election, uh, areas of um, uh, uh, things that God should intervene in terms of the crime and the problems we are facing in the country. And you to also be inspired on how to be diligent in order to achieve uh, success in life. Beyond that, we, are, we have planned there will be refreshment. There will be good refreshment for all the youth that will be participating in this program. And for the first 1,000 youth that will be coming, there will be souvenir for every one of them. It's going to be a wonderful program. I encourage you, don't just come alone. Come with your friends, come with your neighbors, come with everyone around you, and it will be a wonderful time. Just to also let you know that the Youth Pray for Nigeria 2022 program will be live streamed for the benefit of those who are outside Lagos and outside the country. Splendid, yes. So what would be your final words of encouragement to all the youths, particularly because of those on strike and all the challenging situations going through, they are going through in Nigeria right now. My encouragement to the youth is that don't give up hope. Nigeria will be great. If you can do your part, if you can trust God, if you can pray, if you can work hard, if you can be diligent, we all can make this nation far beyond the best in the world. Nigeria is programmed to be a great nation with the kind of talents that we have human resource talent, natural resource that we have. There is no reason why Nigeria cannot be great. But we need you as youth. We need you to do your own part, contribute your part, and have hope that Nigeria will be great. Don't give up. Don't despair. Don't become depressed. Don't become distressed about the situation of this country. Believe in God. And I believe at the end of the day, we always smile. So to all the youths out there, it's time for us to arise, come together, and let's pray back Nigeria, our nation, to prosperity.